Hi everyone! Today I want to show you um, the journal that I made for the round robin that I was invited to participate in by Paula, journal artista. This journal I made. Mine is actually a little large from some of the other ladies I have seen and I'm sorry ladies I, I could not help myself once I got started but um, it's just more area to work on. The journal is about seven and a half by eleven and the theme that I picked for my journal is whimsy or whimsical so that's why I have world of whimsy on here and what I've done for my cover is I cut up a bunch of pieces of cardstock and monochromatic blue colors and then did like this did this mosaic uh, pattern on it and then the tree is from a um, my lighting is a little bad there the tree is from a calendar that I have kept and calendars guys are really great to keep for your mixed media and art journals and stuff there's always kind of always awesome pictures in your calendars I mean you bought the calendar because you love the pictures that are in it so they make them perfect for your art journals <clears throat> and then I um, drew my little lady here in her dress I actually I stamped this with a really pretty bow bunny stamp that I have and um, of course I colored her with Prisma pencils and then I cut out the crown with my Cricut and then added stickles on top. I am really sorry I just cannot seem to get my lighting to where I'm happy. Okay, and then you open it up and my inside cover, I just used some granular gel, golden granular gel, put it all over the cover and then just painted in this little um, pattern with a whole bunch of different colors. I used acrylic paint for that. <clears throat> In my welcome and instruction page I used oil pastels and did the same it just kind of random color background printed at my instructions and welcome onto cardstock and edged it with some white paint and um, in the same calendar there was this little world picture so I took that out and drew a face on it and then added some colored bling all around it and then um, these two pages are my sign-in pages and here's my instructions for them I uh, did them to be like um, autograph pages in a yearbook so that's how I, I want them to sign them sign it like they would do a yearbook and in not thinking I used oil pastels on these two pages also and because of course I'm so used to how I work I have art artist markers that write right over the oil pastels and then I got to thinking um, duh, that most of these ladies probably are not going to have that marker. So I put some gel medium over both the pages to give it a tooth so that it'll work and I tested it out on something and believe it or not the Bic pen, there you go Paula, your Bic, the Bic pens worked the best on it. Uh, other pens worked but I will say the Bic pen worked the best to sign on it. So and then next are the pages that I made and here are my pages. I um, just about a week ago finished reading um, Water for Elephants and so I kind of had the circus on the brain and I really, I'm, I'm a little crooked here and I'm not sure why. There we go. I don't know if that's better. Sorry guys. Uh, so this is the page I came up with. Um, I'll go page by page here. I drew my elephant and used I used water everything water uh, color I used watercolor paints watercolor pencils watercolor crayons um, so in the elephant he was watercolor pencils the sky and the grass are a metallic watercolor paint um, I did I used scrapbook paper for some grass, his little blanket on 
My quote on here is, our whole life is an attempt to discover when our spont spontaneity is whimsical. And that's by Helen Merrill. I have a little more scrap of paper up here in the edge. And then on here, my, my girl, of course I drew her. I used scrapbook paper again for her dress. And then some of the grass. Her balloons. Oh, I have to use acrylic paint for the balloons so that they should have really good over the watercolor. Um, and the clouds are white of acrylic. And then for my big top, I painted it on a separate piece of watercolor and then uh, gel medium, use gel medium to put it on. But, and there's my big top. So there is my whimsical page for my journal. Uh, I also have um, here in the back, I made a, po a pocket that I will remove when the journal comes back that's holding the wax paper. I pre-cut everything, pre-cut the pages for you so that you can put them in between your pages when in shipping. And then the back cover, I used the granular gel again, but just did a single color of the orange. And, and there's just a single color of the purple on this one. I used what my paper is, is watercolor paper. Uh, I like to use watercolor paper when I make journals. It it's really holds up to uh, the wet mediums really well. And of course, being watercolor paper, it holds water very well. So you guys should be able to use and abuse the pages pretty good. Um, the only couple things that I asked with it, and these are in the instructions, are that um, there are you each have the ability to do a two-page side-by-side spread. I'm not recording, you know asking you to do two pages. You can do just one if you would like, but the one thing I am asking is if the person before you only did one page, please flip the page over and start with a brand new two page canvas. That way everyone has this side by side to work on. Also something that I didn't put in my instructions and I didn't think about till later is, you know, we all know that you put the a piece of wax paper in between your pages for shipping but also if possible and to remember to do and actually everybody's journal because it happens if you can use a, when you're working on your pages if you can put wax paper I would use wax paper on either side and as you're working because it happens whatever paint or whatever you work in will come over those edges and kind of get onto the paper for it now it's gonna happen it just it's just that's how it goes with journals but um, when you use the paper it makes it very minimal so that's a good thing to do also um, I guess that is about it I just want to thank all the ladies who are in the Ron Robin for taking the time to make their journals and then taking the time to work on all of our journals I am so excited and I just so anxious already to get this journal back and see what all of you guys have made I used my mind at all to put the album together I tend to make all my most of my art journals um, they're that's one of the things I love to do. It's it's so easy and fun and really inexpensive. You can go to Hobby Lobby, Michael's, Duran's, and get like the pads of watercolor paper <clears throat> on sale. And um, that's with this. And then like these covers, this cover is an old children's book. And my son has a whole bunch of books that he has grown out of and took the book apart. And those were the two covers he came from. Uh, I like to do that a lot too. Um, like here's a journal I've been working on um, with the Renaissance, Art Renaissance uh, Graphic 45 paper, which I am so absolutely in love with and so want to get my hands on some more. Um, Yoli Bean had 
found a couple of sheets of it for me and sent it to me and I really 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 am just dying to get my hands on some more of it so I can finish up this journal and work on a couple of other projects but this is a um, personal journey journal that I am starting uh, um, so I just want to remind everyone to make sure you check out my blog I, I have projects and stuff up on my blo blog I'm trying to get a, I have been working on several projects that I haven't been able to do videos on and I'm trying to get all those uploaded on there and I will have those things up on there within the week so until next time everyone have an artsy day bye <laughs>